Hello Capricorns. Welcome to your January Capricorn Creative Manifestation reading. I have just meditated on your energy and I feel as though there are a lot of new beginnings about to take place. During the pre-shuffle, um, the birth card actually came out multiple times. So let's see if the birth card comes out again. Um, so we're using the Archangel Gabriel deck over here. Let's begin. Thank you, Spirit of the Highest Divine Resonance of the Pure White Light. Thank you, Archangels. What messages do you have for the Capricorn Collective regarding creativity and manifestation? What are the messages that you have for the Capricorn Creatives today? Allow yourself to receive. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you. And that's beautiful. So allow yourself to receive. I'm feeling that some are going through a resistance period right now where there is a lot of tension and resistance built up or sometimes we want to mani manifest things so badly that we put too much energy towards them but the best thing to do is to let go and allow yourself to receive what I like to say is set your intention and then forget about it so set it and forget it and this way here by doing this you'll allow yourself to receive your manifestations will come in a lot faster that way. Thank you, team and spirit of the highest divine resonance of the pure white light. What messages do you have for the Capricorn Creative Collective on manifestation and creativity? What messages do you have for Capricorns? Media. You can reach more people by working with video, audio, print, and online media. Okay, perfect. So, many of you may be trying to build up your social media platforms. Many of you may be on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and have online businesses um, regarding a means of media outlet. Some of you may be artists, like singers, songwriters, graphic artists. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, there we go. Nurture yourself. Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. 
perfect. So in this picture, we can see that um, this woman, this angel, is just resting and nurturing herself. She has some books in her hand on the shelf over here, just relaxing and really nurturing her mind, body, and spirit. Now, I believe that that goes hand in hand with allowing yourself to receive. In order to receive, you must nurture your mind, body, and spirit. Perfect. Okay, let's see what other messages we can get. I'm actually curious to see what's on the bottom of the deck right now. Vulnerability. Listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration, and then pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what. Okay, perfect. So, being vulnerable is quite an advantage because when you're vulner vulnerable and you take into account your feelings and how you feel, um, and the emotion that you put behind your projects or your work or what it is that you wish to manifest and create that's how you set the energy to conspire because emotion is energy in motion so really take into consideration your vulnerable feelings and then it says to pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what so that's important to keep that um, connection with the divine in this manifestation process. Thank you to and spirit of the highest divine resonance of the pure white light for these messages that we receive. What other message do you have for the Capricorn Creative Collective today? Law of Attraction. There we go. Keep your thoughts positive and surround yourself with positive people and situations. And you will attract more positivity into your life. This is amazing. It can't get more simple than that. <laughs> it's so important to keep such a positive outlook on things. And I know it can be hard sometimes, but that is the main key. To manifestation is keeping a positive outlook on everything. There are actually a few key tools that you can use to do this and one of them that I like to do is journaling. If I'm ever feeling down or in, I'm in a negative mood, I get out my pen and paper and I just start writing. I write whatever I feel and then the positive opposite of that or if I have a negative thought right after I have that thought I'll transmute it into a positive thought always try and transmute negatives into positives as best as you can and surrounding yourself with positive people can really really help with that it's just a matter of getting into that abundance flow state and keeping the positivity alive and as I had stated earlier nurture yourself keeping positive is an important form of self-care Investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. 
and yielding that energy for your abundance to come in through the law of attraction. These are very positive cards to have right now. They're essentially stating that you're on the right path here with your manifestations. And these are just friendly reminders that it's important to keep that self-care and to nurture yourself and allow yourself to receive this abundance. And the abundance is here for you. Getting the Law of Attraction card to me means that your manifestations are close to come in. Okay, let's get another card for the Capricorn Collective here. Open your heart to love. Oh, that's so beautiful. So the more you open your heart and pour your love into your creations, the greater their life force energy. And that is exactly what this is. So pour love into your creations by keeping positive. And just be love. Vibrate the vibration of love because once you can align with love and become in alignment with your higher self that is how you will manifest this abundance but the key is to open your heart to love These three cards right here are all connected. Because if you open your heart to love, to nurture yourself, and allow yourself to receive, your manifestations will come to fruition. Let's get one more to crown this reading. Oh, okay, I guess we got two more. <laughs> Authenticity and recognition. Okay, so this is amazing. Trust that your real self, whom God created divinely perfect, has the strength and knowledge needed for the situation. So just keep authentic and align yourself with love and truth. And nurture yourself. Put effort into that self-care. Open your heart to love. Because your true authentic self is love. And through the media, you will get recognition. This is such a beautiful reading. The messages are so clear here. Wow. I love this reading. 
and the Capricorn Sun. So, I really love this reading. I think it's amazing. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors. This is crowning your reading, the final outcome. This is an amazing month for you, Capricorns. Much love to you.